What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Xur location and inventory review for the weekend of September 8th to the 11th and so let's get started. And first things first, Xur is going to be located in the Watcher's Grave on Nessus. Alright, let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, for exotics, we have the Crimson, pretty decent hand can here. Uh, the Gemini Jester with a pretty reasonably good roll. 68 mobility, recovery, discipline. You'd like to see more resilience for PvE. However, this is mainly a PvP exotic, so definitely, you know, maybe a worthwhile pickup. Not the most meta exotic. Uh, now, as for the Helm's 814, this is one of the best rolls I've ever seen in my life. Okay, maybe not that much definitely lacking on discipline but we have insane resilience 68 uh, total stats um, you do want intellect like uh, the helmet c14 is going to synergize with your um, with your super so usually you kind of can neglect intellect in this case you want it so I'm gonna pick that up for my, I think that's better than my current helmet c14 let me check if I have it on all right so uh, it's close it's really close. I'm going to have to crunch the numbers uh, in a bit here. But yeah, great Helma Save 14. Definitely worth considering picking up. Uh, then we have... <coughs> that's a very, very good Crown of Tempest. Now, um, not quite... <laughs> I don't know. Xur sold one one time that was absolutely incredible. Now, ma a huge recovery is awesome for the Warlocks. They want 100 recovery. Obviously, too much strength in my opinion, though. Uh, 67 overall is good. You want more resilience because this is very good in PvE as well. You want more discipline. So this actually, it's pretty good. You really want the recovery, but... Overall, I think, uh, you know, only buy it if you don't already have a better one. All right, now, moving on from there, let's look at the weaponry. Starting things off, we have the Tears of Coordination, uh, Unloading Mulligan, terrible. And then we have the No Reprive with Surplus Focused, terrible. We have the Death Adder here, interestingly, with Feeding Frenzy Disruption Break. Usually, for the Death Adder, the God Roll is Feeding Frenzy plus Dragonfly. Disruption Break is an interesting one. You break a shield and then it takes more damage from Kinetic. Some people really like this. I'm not the biggest fan, so kind of choose whatever you want. Um, well, we do have an auto-loading Deafening Whisper. That is very, very good. Waveframe is fantastic. Unfortunately, moving target is not what you want. If this was anything but moving target, I'd be very excited. As it is, it's a pretty average roll. Well, hold on a second here. A Tarnish Metal here with Demo plus, plus Focus Fury. Demo in the left column is very, very good. I'm a huge fan of this. Generally, with this weapon, you can get some really good perks here. And Focus Fury is overall pretty good. Like, for a scout rifle, a precision weapon, this is actually a pretty good combo. If you're a new player looking for a, an ARC scout rifle, definitely consider picking this up. This is a totally acceptable roll here. I, I don't think it's 100% the god roll. I think you can do a bit better. I think you can get Jolt even and stuff like that. Um, a Volt shot, I should say. But, uh, yeah, that, that's like an overall pretty good roll here. Now, as for the retrofit, uh, Feeding Frenzy and then Frenzy, I mean, as the names would imply, kind of a wombo combo. As you're doing damage, uh, as things are ramping up, Frenzy is doing more damage, increasing the reload, and then Feeding Frenzy is also increasing the reload. Now, this isn't quite the god roll for the retrofit, um, but it's still, again, a very acceptable roll if you're a new player and you're in need of a machine gun. This is totally decent. Now, as for the Code Duello, Surplus Frenzy, eh, kind of meh. Now, as for the weapons on the other side, we only have the Hawkmoon, and oh, we actually have the Hawkmoon with Rangefinder. Overall, considered to be pretty darn good. Well, it was. Uh, it would increase the zoom, which would increase its range, but now that has been decoupled. I think it's still going to increase the range since its effective range is magnified, um, but it might not be as good as it once was. Like, Range Rider was a god tier perk for something like a hand cannon. Now, you might have to reconsider. With that being said, the other perk here, Corkscrew Rifling, to improve the range and, I mean, slightly increases range and stability. It's kind of meh. If you really want a Range Fighter Hawkmoon, you can pick this up. Otherwise, I would kind of skip. Now, in terms of the armor, now this is the an old, uh, like a Vex-themed armor, the Substitutional Alloy set. Let's take a look at how rare this set is on Light.gg. All right, so this was actually originally added back in Season 8. I think that's when the Shadow Keep expansion came out. Then it was re-added in Season 15 as Armor 2.0 and 
according to light.gg, pretty common set with about 44% of Guardians having access to this thing. Now, taking a look at the uh, actual stats here for the Gauntlets, 65 overall recovery discipline, that's totally fine. Now, on, on my Titan, you do want more resilience, but not a terrible roll here. Um, 65, way too much mobility. Bungie loves to give the Titan armor max mobility. 66 huge recovery um if that recovery spike was in resilience i'd be a lot more receptive as it is like if you want recovery like this is such a spiky piece if you mass work it right 28 goes to 30 you've got three tiers of recovery on one armor piece so if you're lacking recovery uh, definitely consider picking this up and then 64 here on the legs uh, just a pretty above average piece but let's move on to the warlock all right, for the Warlock, 65 Gauntlets, Recovery, Discipline, Strength, and really not too bad right there. Pretty good Gauntlets, honestly. Uh, then we've got the chest piece. I uh, wish it didn't have that mobility spike, but Recovery, Discipline, Intellect being featured is all pretty good. Uh, for the helmet, oh, my, well, if you want mobility, if you want the speediest Warlock possible, this is the helmet you want, because oh my goodness. Uh, but then we got the uh, legs here, again with that mobility spike. Uh, resilience, Discipline, Strength is all fine, but t what the heck is this, Bungie? Anyways, let, let's check the Hunter and hope we find something remotely close to this helmet on the Hunter. All right, for the Hunter, uh, the Gauntlets, okay, that's amazing. Um, 30 resilience, and again, even on a Hunter, resilience, you want it in PvE. Discipline and strength, extremely spiky, honestly, extremely good. I mean, if you really want to split hairs, maybe you'd put the strength in mobility instead, but these are unbelievably good gauntlets. Um, and then we have a really spiky chest piece here, maxing out on strength. Um, strength is really not bad. Like, there's a couple of uh, hunter melee builds. Uh, in fact, I'm using one, you know, right now. So definitely strength on a hunter is, is not useless. Then we've got the helmet here. Uh, very spiky again. Huge mobility. You got a little bit of resilience. Massive discipline spike. 28. Again, that's the magic number. You mass work, it's 30. And obviously, discipline is one of the best stats out there. Really good helmet. 63. Not, eh, not too spiky. The main spike being in mobility. The rest kind of just being average. But uh, yeah, very good helmet. And uh, I would say extremely good arms. And uh, then obviously, if you're a Titan, probably pick up this Helmet Save 14 as well. Not, not the most meta, guys. I know the Helmet Save 14 isn't super meta, but I've whipped it out on occasion. It, it does massively improve the effectiveness of your bubble. Like keeping an overshield when you go out of the bubble is, is, is huge. So overall, some pretty good armor this weekend, guys weapons not so much i hope you enjoyed this video found it informative and if you did please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video if you guys want to see more destiny 2 content similar to this don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity the best way is to follow me on twitter at rick Kakis. that is linked in the description down below again i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day